Hello everyone, we are here in July and I personally can't believe we're already halfway through the year. Can you? I can't. Either way, today I'm going to share with you what I plan to read in July and I'm not going to lie to you, it's quite a feat. I have picked out like 10 books and uh, I don't know, I'm just, you know, going for it this month. This month encompasses a lot of things, honestly. It is a month that I can actually have a decent amount of time to read because there's not much going, along, going on with my photography life. But there is a lot going on with my personal life. I'm going on vacation with my family in July. Um, there's also the book two with on in July, which is July 24th through the 30th. So this TBR is, I don't even know, because the challenges have not been released for the book two with on yet, and they won't be released probably for a couple weeks. So I'm hoping I can use some of these books for the book two with on. If not, my TBR may switch. But as of right now, I know I'm going to read at least half of these books because half of them are new releases. So yeah, like I said, I picked like 10 books. It's it's quite a feat, but I think I can manage um, this month because it's a lot of contemporary books and a lot of books I'm really excited to read. So without further ado, let me just show you what books I am planning to read this month. So like I said, the majority of these books are new releases. I have six new releases that I plan to read this month, and I know I can fly through them all because the majority of them are contemporary, which I love contemporary. I love reading contemporary in the summer, and I told you guys to expect me to read a lot of contemporary in the summer. Here's a lot of it still. The first book I plan to read is Lucky in Love by Casey West. It actually comes out July 25th, so quite a ways away. I might save this closer to the release date. Like I said, it kind of depends. I'm kind of waiting on my TBR to really form itself with the Tubathon challenges. I don't know what's going to be thrown at me. Either way, I definitely plan to read this because this is Casey West's newest book. This is all about a girl that wins the lottery and, of course, her life changes. And she starts to like this guy that she works with at the zoo, and he's like the only one that doesn't know she's won the lottery and he kind of you know so he actually treats her like herself and not somebody that's won the lottery so of course they form a relationship I'm expecting to really enjoy it because it's Casey West she writes really cute fluffy things look at the cover for goodness sakes it's so cute even the back like all the heart balloons yeah I love it <laughs> so I definitely plan to read this in July whether it be the beginning of July or the end of July either way it's gonna be read in July. Another July release is What to Say Next by Julie Buxman, and I believe the cover of this has changed. I have an arc of it, obviously. The cover is more deep. I think the cover is more teal, which I like. Either way, I'm very, very grateful that I have an arc of this. This one comes out early in July, like July 11th, so I kind of plan to read it probably around then so I can review it for you guys. I have read Julie Buxbaum's other book called Tell Me Three Things, which I enjoyed. It wasn't one of my favorite contemporary books, but I still enjoyed it. This is all about kind of a girl and guy that sit together at lunch. They've never really sat together before. She's more of a popular person, and he's really not. And she's kind of feeling a lot different after her dad died in a car accident. And these two start to get talking, and they start to really try to figure out why her dad died in a car accident. Like they try to deal with like the logistics and like the mathematical things of it which I don't know sounds interesting I suppose but it's all about this girl you know trying to recover from her dad's death and dealing with it as also trying to get a new friend maybe a possible love interest it's very very short I plan to I plan to read it like I said and I hope to enjoy it because I did enjoy her other book and my other two um, new release contemporary books that I plan to read um, the first one is changes in latitude by Jen Malone this will be my first Jen Malone book I forgot what other book she wrote from last with you she wrote Wonderlust which I've heard good things about this one comes out on the 17th. This is all about a girl that goes on a cruise. <laughs> nice <laughs> this is all about a girl that goes on a cruise with her parents and her brother and her parents are actually divorcing and she's trying to keep that fact hidden away from her younger brother so that's what her whole journey is on this cruise and of course she falls and kind of like with a deckhand and it's all about them being on a cruise and i've been on a cruise before i really enjoyed it and you know i just love like reading about ocean books and ocean and things of that nature so it sounds like a perfect summer book and i'm hoping to really enjoy it and the last um new release contemporary book i plan to read is Coming Up for Air by Miranda Killeney. I have read a few of her books before. My favorite of hers is Breathe Annie Breathe. That was all about this girl that really focused on training for running because her um, boyfriend had died and he was really training for a marathon and she decides you know after he's died to really live on with his legacy of wanting to do that so she does that. This is kind of in the same notion where this is kind of about a sport and really intensely learning about a sport which I really enjoy reading about. This is about a girl named Maggie who all of her free time is focused on swimming. She is really you know focused on that. She loves it. She's trying to get a scholarship with swimming. She's also trying to get a spot on the Olympic team to obviously compete in the Olympics and of course a boy comes along shakes up her world. 
you can probably guess what happens from there. Either way, I'm excited to read it because I enjoyed Breathe Any Breathe so much and like the, you know, it made me really enjoy reading about running and even though I hate running, I like walking running not so much um i'm hoping to have the same feelings about this one because it focuses on swimming her books are just easy to read if i'm honest with you they're just a quick and fun read this one would you come out this is actually a finished copy they sent me, but I believe this comes out like mid-July, I want to say. I'll leave the date right here for you to see, but either way, I hope to really enjoy it. I've been doing a lot of um, master reviews lately, and I told you to expect a lot more from this summer, so I can tell you without a doubt right now, you're definitely going to get a master review on these three books. You're going to get one video with my thoughts and opinions on all three of these books. So I'm excited to do that because, you know, I read a lot of contemporaries, and I figure it's just easier to throw them all in one video and let you know really detailed thoughts of what I thought about them. So. I I'm excited to film the matchup review and let you know my thoughts about all three of these. Another new release book that I'm excited to read, I'm just, I'm so excited for this, is Because You Love to Hate Me. This is a villain anthology and Bloomsbury actually sent me a finished copy of this. I was not expecting it. Yeah, I was really excited when I opened it because I'm just excited for this book. So I love anthologies. I really like the, like, the short story collections. I feel like they're easy to fly through. You can really get a taste of whether you like an author or not. Like if you want to check out a particular author, you can read some of their short stories and see if maybe I'll want to read a full book by them. This has 13 tales of villainy. I don't know how you pronounce that. And it, it has so many amazing authors like Renee Adier, um, Susan Denard, Marissa Meyer, Cindy Pond, Victoria Schwab. It's like so many of my favorites. Um, Adam Silvera, Andrew Smith, Nicola Yoon, and it's also in collaboration with 13 booktubers, which I think is, you know, a really big part of why I'm excited for this. We all love it, you know, because it's got a lot of my friends in here, and I'm really, I'm really expecting to like it because I do like short story um, collections in general. And I'm just really excited to read it, and I might save this for the booktubathon because I have learned from books and Lala, like to save anthologies for readathon. So I'm thinking I might follow her advice and save it for them because I will probably fly through it and I'm excited to read it. I'm so excited to read it. And my last new release book that I plan to read is The Lion Game by Ruth Ware. This is an adult mystery thriller novel. I have read her two previous books and kind of like them, not love them. I figure this is like my last shot with this author. I was so lucky that um, Scout Press sent me an actual arc so I'm super excited for that. This book comes out, I want to say, yeah, um, the 25th. So I might read this during the book too because I can really fly through mystery thrillers. Either way, this is, um, like I said, a mystery thriller. <laughs> I haven't said that enough. This is all about this group of girls that invent this like lying game when they were younger. Like they just lie and they try to pull it out. And this book takes place like years after and they kind of all get called back to where they used to grow up at because of this one lie has been exposed or some of that nature. I try to go into these not knowing too much because I just want to expect the mystery and thrilling of it all. But I hope to like this book. If I'm honest with you, I haven't read too many good reviews on it. So we'll just see. Like I said, I like her books. I don't love them. She's definitely not my favorite mystery thriller author, but I'm hoping I'll like this one. We'll we'll have to see. More other books that I plan to read that are not new releases that have been sitting on my TBR shelf that I've been meaning to read and I'm finally going to read them. The first of that being On the Vents by Casey West. The main reason I want to read this Casey West book is because this is the only one I haven't read despite Lucky and Love. My whole plan is to read this book and this book and to make an author specific video on Casey West. I've done that with other authors before like Sarah Destin and Sophie Kinsella where I tell you about every single one of their books and then let you know what and let, let you know how I rate them, which one I would recommend you read first. So I want to do that with Casey West. So I plan to read both of these in July. Make the author's video because I love doing those, honestly. And either way, I'm just excited to read another Casey West book. Two Casey West books in one month. That's no problem with me. This is all about a girl. I think that's like a tomboy and then she gets to work at like this girlish boutique. I don't know. And then she starts to fall in like with her neighbor. I've heard really good things about it. A lot of people say this is really one of their favorite Casey West books. So I'm expecting to like it as well. Then I plan to read Don't You Cry by Mary Kabiko. I actually read uh, my first Mary Kabiko book last month called The Good Girl. And I did really enjoy it. It wasn't my favorite mystery book, but I still thought it was really, really solid. So I plan to read this one because everyone says, this is their favorite Mary Kabika book and I really hope to like it as well. This one is all about a girl that disappears from her apartment and then you have a side story about this girl showing up randomly at a coffee shop one day. Probably to put two together right there from the synopsis but I've heard this is like really creepy like really odd. Either way people say this is their favorite Mary Kabika book so I, I can't wait to read it. I really like her writing style honestly and I really like how she like 
pulls you into the story like you will not be able to put her books down so I'm hoping to feel the same about this one. Then I plan to read Close Enough to Touch by Colleen Oakley. This is an adult chiclet novel and I just been dying to read this for ever since I got it honestly. It's all about a woman that is allergic to everything. She kind of is holed up in her house with her mom for as long as she can remember and then her mom dies so she has to actually venture out into the world. So she gets a job at a library. She meets this man that has two children and he really doesn't know what to do and they sort of form a relationship and that's all I know about it like you know with particular genres you just have to go into it and just have fun with it and I'm hoping and that's the case with this one I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book I'm not I don't think I've seen a less than four star rating on Goodreads which is hard Goodreads is a mixed bag because everyone has different opinions obviously but this one has really good ratings I love the cover that's not even related to book it's not even related to me reading the book I just want to share that but I'm excited to read it because it sounds like such a perfect summer read and I'm all about like chiclet contemporary during the summer. If you can't already tell. And the last book I plan to read is Song of the Current by Sarah Tostler. I actually got this on my uppercase box. I've never heard of this book before but when I read the synopsis I really was intrigued by it. This is all about a girl named Caroline and her family for generations has been you know called by the river god and the river god really helps guide their voyages and have safe travels and things like that. Caroline has still not yet been called by the river god. Things are going all right with her family. Her dad was supposed to do this job and he couldn't really do it so she decides to take it upon herself to help this um, pirate I think like navigate through the waters and she's hoping that it'll go okay because the river god hasn't really you know called on her yet. It just sounds really interesting. I'm probably really butchering the synopsis but I've heard really good things about this and I'm honest it's either gonna be if I'm not feeling this book I'm gonna switch to the sandcastle of the empire or empire of the sandcastle. I got my owl crate box which is like a dystopian sci-fi book. I'm reading a lot of contemporary and like um, chick lip books as well so I kind of want to make sure I get in my, my fantasy and dystopian and sci-fi books as well. So these are all the books I'm planning to read in July. I'm not gonna lie to you like this stack right here makes me nervous but let's just let's do a tally. So I have five YA contemporaries on this list which if I'm honest with you I could probably read five of those in a week because they're just quick reads and like I just fly through those. I try to space them out in between other books though. Two sorry um adult mystery thrillers which again I fly through because it's the mystery aspect. I have one fantasy um this one I don't know what to categorize as a short story anthology is it also kind of fantasy I'm not sure. <laughs> and then I also have one chiclet um, book. So I try to every TBR I try to really um, different I try to go through a lot of different genres. Um, I feel like this is a good mixture of stuff. Actually no I take that back. The majority of this is obviously YA contemporary but that's how it goes sometimes. Either way I'm really excited to read all of these and I'm hoping I can read all of them. Honestly you know with the book tubeathon and whether the challenges are going to be or not um, we're just going to have to see what they are. Usually the challenges aren't too complicated so I have a really so I have a good feeling that I can fit some of these because they're in different genres um, into those challenges so we'll just have to wait and see. I do plan on filming a separate TBR for the booktube -thon. so you know ex maybe expect some of these maybe not we'll have to see and I'm also planning to vlog throughout the booktube -thon. so either way be ready for booktube -thon. I'm excited about it. This is the first readathon I've taken part in in like over two years so I'm excited for it so I'm hoping I can fit some of these in there really I'm hoping so otherwise my TBR is gonna be all screwed up. <laughs> If you have heard of any of these books, please let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed them. If not, are you excited for any of them? And let me know what books you're reading in July. I would love to hear. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.